Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical report events and in the previous videos, so far we covered eight classical report events, initialization, at selection screen, start of selection, end of selection, top of page, end of page, at selection screen, output, at selection screen on value request for field. This field belongs to selection screen or input screen. Yes, out of these events, some events requires action from our end. Some events trigger automatically when their time has been reached. Now we will move on to our next event. Our next event is at selection screen on help request for field. This field belongs to selection screen or input screen. Now do not confuse that topic. Whenever people will see the word help, they consider it as F4 help or value help. No. Whenever we are using the word value, value, it means that is your F4 help or search help or value help. F4 help, value help, search help, one and the same thing. Yes, this is your F1 help, F1 help, which is called as technical information help. Now, we all know whenever we did F4, whenever we did F4 on a field of selection screen, which event called at selection screen on value request for that particular field, because we know F4 is the value help, value help. Now, at what, on what action this event will trigger when we will do F1 on a field of selection screen. Whenever you are doing F4, which event will call? At selection screen on value request for that particular field. Whenever you are doing F1, which event will call at selection screen on help request for that particular field. Now, this, uh, this event also, also require action from our end. In case of value request, we did F4. In case of help request, we will do F1. Now, what is the purpose of the event? The purpose of this event is to provide technical information for a field. So whenever we want to provide any kind of documentation, any kind of technical information for a field of selection screen, we will always, always make use of this event. Suppose we will take a real time example, suppose. Suppose you are going for any site where you are creating your credentials, okay? So have you seen whenever you are going for password, you are getting a full technical information there that your password should be of eight characters. It must have a capital. It must have a special character. So what is that? That is a technical information so that is a documentation for the password, which is helping us to create a password. Same kind of documentation also, also user required in the real world. Yes, suppose we are running some program. Suppose customer is running some program and customer don't know what the what customer has to do with that particular field if the technical information is there he can simply simply do f1 and check that what needs to be done with that particular field yes technical information sometimes plays a vital role and you can consider any real real scenarios if the technical information or documentation is there 
it is helping us always yes now what we will do we will take a requirement and we will achieve that requirement using at selection screen on help request for the field of a selection screen or input screen with the help of this event now what we will do suppose this is the program which we are which we have developed now what customer is saying i want a technical information or i want a documentation of this particular checkbox what is this checkbox display currency so customer is saying whenever i will do f1 whenever i will do f1 on this particular checkbox i should get a full technical information that what is the purpose of this checkbox in this particular program yes generally customer asks for technical information that what is the purpose of this what is the purpose of this what is the purpose of this so at that time we will provide this documentation so now what customer is saying yes whenever i will do f1 i want a full technical information of this display currency miss but for what purpose this particular checkbox is there in this particular input screen now we all know whenever user will do f1 here and whenever user will do f1 on this which event will call at selection screen on we on help request for that particular field so firstly what i will do i will write the logic and i will show you is this event is triggering or not so what we will do now i will write it i will write at selection screen on help request help request means f1 help f1 help now for which particular field of the selection screen or input screen now this is the field this is the field this is the name of the checkbox p underscore c h k now i will simply write a random logic firstly we will see is it triggering or not whenever we are doing f1 i will just put a break point and i will show you is this triggering or not now i am simply going for this check box i am putting the cursor there so cursor is here now we are doing f1 you all know whenever you will do f1 which event will trigger at selection screen on help request we are not doing f4 we are doing f1 f4 is value request f1 is help request now this event is triggering triggering so what is the summary of the video in this video we started with the event at selection screen on help request for a field of selection screen or input screen at what on what action this event will trigger whenever we are doing f1 on a field of selection screen or input screen what is the purpose of this event the purpose of this event is to provide the technical information or documentation for a field of selection screen or input screen and yes in real world sometimes yes technical information plays a vital role because based upon that information only we can always always pass the correct information so now in the next video we will provide the technical information to this particular field using which event at selection screen on help request for a that particular field
that part we will continue in the next video thank you